Hey, in this video I will show you how to use version control on a Godot project. Version control is extremely important, especially when you work in a team, because you can sync between computers. But not only that, you can also create backups of your projects and restore, for example, cases where you have corrupted files, and you have a fluent documentation of your whole project. We will use GitHub to sync our files to the remote server, and we will use AnchorPoint as a desktop application. Everything what I'm showing here right now is also available in the free version of AnchorPoint. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is to make our project version control ready. Normally when you create a new project in Godot, you have the option to choose between Git or not a version control provider. In this case, we have to add it later. So we go to project, version control, create version control metadata, and create a version control metadata for Git in this case. This will create, for example, files like the gitignore and the git attributes file. The next thing we need to do is to go to github.com and create a new account by signing up. So you have to go to the sign up process and then you will be at the dashboard. I already have done this, so I will log into my account by signing in. So now you are at the dashboard and basically that's all you need to do on GitHub. We will do the rest in the Git client. So in this case, I will use AnchorPoint, but you can also use another Git client. In AnchorPoint, I can create the repositories directly from the application and they will be automatically created on GitHub. But before we do this, we need to first connect AnchorPoint and GitHub. So if you're at the products page, and if you don't see this page, simply create a new tab, and then scroll down to the integration section. Then click on connect application, and then pick GitHub and click on connect. So this will start the connection process. We start the GitHub login here. And on GitHub, we need to authorize AnchorPoint. So just scroll down and click on authorize AnchorPoint software. And that's basically all you need to do. We just make a test and activate the integration. And we are connected with GitHub. All right, let me now create a repository. So in AnchorPoint repositories are called projects. Let me just bring the application here. And then click on new project, pick Git repository. And now we need to browse to our Godot project. So under remote settings, we pick up new GitHub repository. And as a template for gitignore, we pick Godot. Now, let me continue. I will leave the name as it is, and I continue here. And in this case, I will not invite members. I will do this later as an optional thing. Let me create a project first. So the project is also created on GitHub. And when you click here on the timeline on the changed files, then these are all the files we would like to commit and push to GitHub. Let me create a message and you press sync. And sync will basically do all the processes like staging, committing, and pushing the files to GitHub. So the commit is done. Now I can continue working with my project and the push happens currently here in the background. So all these files are being uploaded to GitHub right now. So the commit is done and we can check if the commit appeared also on GitHub. Let's go to the project settings under Git and let's visit the link. All right, this is basically our repository here on GitHub and all the files are basically here as well. So how can you work with this? Let me minimize that, go back to anchor point and now open up my Godot project and make a change. So let me just add a brief comment here and I need to save the file. And once I have done this, I can minimize Godot and anchor point detected this change here. Now I can also add a comment and press sync again. All right, this change is also on GitHub right now. What if I, let's say, made a mistake and I would like to revert that thing? So let me click basically here on the comment and I can click also on undo commit and this will basically create reverse changed files. This means that this change will be created as a new changed file and this changed file is the older version, what I had before. So when I open Godot, it will tell me to reload the file and this some comment here is gone because we restored basically the older version in this case. So to make this available to Git, we will simply need to create an NL commit. And that's basically it. So your workflow is always making a meaningful change and then commit that so that you have an entry in your version history. So finally, how do you add collaborators when you want to work on a team? In this case, we need to go to the project settings, members, and we need to assign a member. If this member is already in your anchor point workspace, you can basically select and import that member. If not, just invite them by email address and click on send invite. Then click on the sign to project. And then you will see this pop-up that you have to add your member on GitHub as well. Just click on add member on GitHub and this will open up the web browser. And here you are in the member settings of GitHub and here you can simply add your team member. All right, that's all about it. I hope this video was helpful for you so that you can use version control on your next Godot project. Thank you for watching.